Hello YouTubers. In this video, we're going to see the photoresistor, the light sensor, using STM32 Cube IDE. For anybody who doesn't know how the breadboard connection works, I have made a separate video which is available here. Otherwise, we can continue. For the PB1, one side connected to 220 ohm resistor, other side connected to ground. And the same PB1, that photo resistor connected, other side connected to 3.3 volt. Now for the display, it's like this. It's coming from right to left. It's A1, A2, A3, A4. This one from left to right, A8, A9, A10. This is ground. Uh, please note the middle pin is not connected it's a extra ground and also the last pin here it's not connected it's for the dot here now we go to the cube ide i have already opened the cube ide i have given the name if anybody doesn't know how to install the cube ide how the how to do a basic blink program i have made a separate video it's available here Otherwise, we can continue. We click System Core and Sys and for the debug, Serial Wire. Now we click Analog and click ADC1 and we make IN9 tick. See, the PB1 is selected. Now we make sure in the parameter setting continuous conversion is enabled. We click enabled here. Now we need to make for the display PA1234 and also 8910 as a GPIO output. I do one by one. All set, we can click save button. It will generate the code. While it's loading, I have given all the code in a web page I have created. The link is in the description below. We go to that web page, which is this one. And you go below, the diagram is here and the picture is here. And the cube ID setting we've already done, that's here. The code is here. For the user code begin two, the user code two, we copy these two lines. Copy it. And we go to cube ID. And we go to the user code be, begin two. Here, we paste. Now, for the while loop, this one, the infinite while loop, we copy the code from the web page. We go below. It's a while loop here. We have to copy from here until, until the HAL delay 50. We copy it. Now we go to the cube ID, we paste it in the while loop. That's all the code. It's very simple code. You can understand for different values, it sets the different number in the display. Now we can click save, click build button using the hammer button. It's compiling here. We can see the progress all good zero errors now we can click the this button that run button the green button there click the debugger this one and uh, i always use open ocd it will work for the all the board even including the clone board click show generate options go below and for the reset mode software system reset uh, click apply, 
click OK. Now it will upload the code. We can see the progress here. Yeah, all uploaded. Code is uploaded. I removed the ST link and I connected with the power bank. Now it's one because little bit light there. So when I cover the light, it's zero. Take one, cover zero. Now I put the light on. More light, it increasing. Less light, decreasing. More light, increasing. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, please write in the comment section below. Thank you.